Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon. I'm the author of the new book, Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit, available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love, available in all three formats. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, twin flame, romance, life path, and purpose. You can book that at my website, fontainwellness.com. We are in the midst of finishing up the twin flame divine feminine boot camp too. The question that I have gotten is, is it okay for divine masculines to take the twin flame divine feminine boot camps? And what I just want to tell you is that they were designed for divine feminines, but divine masculines can definitely get something out of it, especially the healing, because we all need to heal, all of us on this journey. There are childhood wounds, there are things from our past, it's about balancing your life, it's about balancing female male energy within us, it's about your own sense of self-worth and self-esteem, so most definitely, definitely, definitely. These boot camps are awesome. I created them myself. <laughs> That's not why they're awesome. They're awesome because it's based on not only my own journey, but I've coached hundreds of twin flames throughout the past year and a half. And it's based on everybody's journey. And like there is a trajectory in what you guys go through. You can book those. The links are below. You can get them both on demand. This is the Divine Masculine Messages to Divine Feminine. We're gonna get an update on Divine Masculine. Today is Saturday, 10, 10, 2020, October 10th, 2020. The reason why I wanted to do an update on Divine Masculines is because Divine Masculines have been having a little bit of a tough time of it. There have been issues with them losing their jobs because of the current world affairs here. There has been this issue with this person that they're trying to get rid of, whether it be a mother who is overbearing and controlling, or if it's a wife or girlfriend, there's just someone that they're trying to actually get rid of. So we're gonna get an energetic update on Divine Masculines, as well as what they want to tell you, Divine Feminines. This is the messages directly from their heart to you. It's designed to help give you hope and hopefully give you some clarity on where they're at. As usual, I'm gonna say a prayer over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Divine Masculines, Guardian Angels, let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light, Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels. Please give us an energy read on Divine Masculines and all of their messages to their Divine Feminines in this collective. First, I always like to get an energy update on Divine Masculines because, hey, <laughs> the cards we got for the weekly reading, if you haven't yet viewed that, go ahead and view the weekly reading. But the cards we got for the weekly reading for Divine Masculines, oh boy. Challenge-o, challenge-o energy. So we've got the nine of Gabrielle, which is the nine of wands, which is about getting on your right life path, but with your life path and purpose. But it also means like stand your ground, don't give up. If someone's trying to knock you down, you get right back up. You take the hit and you get right back into the ring. And that's what Divine Masculines are having to do this week. It's not about letting things mow over them. It's not about them giving up on their hopes, dreams, on their life path, no. This means that you know your life path, you know where you're supposed to be going and you keep moving forward. It's literally saying, when you get knocked down, you get right back up and get back into the game, divine masculine. So that is the energy for the week. We're going to be picking from many romance decks, twin flame decks. We're gonna get the messages from divine masculine to divine feminine. Hey, divine masculines, if you could say anything to your divine feminines about this love journey, about this love relationship, about this twin flame relationship into love, romance, connection, unity, what would it be for this week? We are reading your energy today to your divine feminine, okay? We are gonna get a romance card here. Divine masculines, what is your romance energy towards your divine feminines for this week? Please help your divine feminines understand what's happening. We're gonna get a message of love. All right, Divine Masculines, bring some clarity to the situation. 
your feelings, your heart space, your intentions with your divine feminine. Where's your energy at for romance this week? And then we're gonna get one of, this is from the Twin Flame deck. This is one of the decks that I use when I do my personal readings for Twin Flames and romance in general, soulmate readings as well. So Divine Masculines, bring out this message for your Divine Feminine so they can understand this journey. And then we're gonna pick two messages direct. These are actually like quotations or actual sentences, phrases from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Hey, what's in your heart space, Divine Masculines? If you could say anything right now that is unfiltered to your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, what would you say? We've got to get two messages. Give us one more Divine Masculines to your Divine Feminines. What are you going to say? Okay, so we're going to first pick out this one. And it says, show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of, of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Here you go. And that is the message directly <laughs> from Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I know Divine Feminines, it can be so hard to get caught up in this journey. Get caught up on the inside of yourself because it brings about this obsession with your Divine Masculine. And this is a tough time in the world right now and people can use your acts of kindness. And so what your Divine Masculine is telling you is like, rather than focus on me, Divine Feminine, go out there into the world and do good. Whether it's just like buying somebody a cup of coffee, calling up a friend you haven't spoken to in a really long time, just to see how they're doing in 2020, it was a crazy year. But any act of kindness you can possibly bring forth to others brings goodness, not only to yourself, but to the relationship as well with your Divine Masculine. Let's look at these romance cards here. We've got express your love and longing. I really feel the Divine Masculine, they're longing for you, Divine Feminines. They want to express their love. They want it so bad. They really want to come forward and tell you how they're feeling. So many of them have been so shy. They've been bothered by being honest about their feelings, but they're longing to. They really, really want to. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you honestly what is in their heart space. I have a feeling that based on this, that those divine masculines will come forward with their feelings, with expressing their feelings of love for you. Then we get the awakening card and look at, there's a masculine energy in that awakening card. These divine masculines have awakened and many are fully, fully, fully awakened. And they're seeing the bigger picture. As you see in this card too, the masculine energy is actually seeing the bigger picture. That's really the most important part of this is because the intensity of the journey for Divine Masculines has brought about a feeling that they've never felt before. And many of them equated it to being a strictly sexual feeling. And they thought, oh, well, if it's intense, it's chemistry. If it's intense, it's, an, it's a sexual attraction. That's what the intensity is about and they dismissed the broader picture of the twin flame journey because of course they didn't know what it was. Most of them in this collective that I'm reading for, most of them have completely awakened to the journey and not that they know the ins and outs and fine details of what a twin flame journey is about, but many have. But the, the others that haven't fully awakened to like, what is a twin flame? What is a twin flame journey? Certainly, certainly they're understanding the broader picture that this connection is so much bigger than what they perceived it to be. It's not just a sexual connection, it's a romantic and love connection and a soul connection. And so many of them are understanding that it's a soul connection. And that is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so we got connect with me in the 5D. So many of them want to connect with you in the 5D. They understand that you guys can connect in the 5D together. Connect with your twin flame in the 5D, Divine Feminines. In boot camp one, there is an entire module and a guided meditation and a tutorial on how to connect with your twin flame divine masculine 
in the five D's. So if you're interested in learning that, go ahead and sign up for Boot Camp One. And they say karma is kicking my ass. Hey, we have seen this. We have seen this and that's why I wanted to do the read for Divine Masculines to the Divine Feminines for this week because we have seen this in the past several weeks. What happens when you're not on your right life path or there are aspects of your life where you are not on your right life path, your guardian angels, your spirit guides will give you a swift kick in the booty to get you on your right life path. Now they can't interfere with your free will choices, but they can certainly help to create circumstances that build the pressure on you so that you are obligated to move on to your right life path. You're obligated to move away from those things that are creating that pressure for you. So that's what's been happening with Divine Masculines. Like I said, many of them have lost their jobs during this pandemic. Some of them have lost their careers outright because their companies have shut down. The, the job that they had now is like non-existent because let's suppose that their job really counted on them going to the office, but hey, now a lot of offices, a lot of companies are shutting down completely and everybody is working remotely. So karma's kicking them in the butt because they wanted them to get out of those jobs. They wanted them to get out of those relationships. They wanted them to rethink their career. Now that does not mean that they won't be able to find a job still in their industry, maybe even with the same company when things start to get better. But what it does mean is that there was an aspect of that that was unhealthy for them. Maybe it was the long work hours, maybe it was, their ultimate dedication to that job and ignoring all the other aspects of their lives. So there was a lot there. And I have a grand feeling that it was ass kicking time for Divine Masculines. And that's why they have been going through so much in the way of course correction where the angels are like, nope, you still need to course correct. That's why I really believe we got the nine of wands, nine of Gabriel here, which is like the song that is coming to my head is I get knocked out. <laughs> I think that's what the song is, but like literally like they're getting knocked down and the message that is so strong is like, get back up get back up and move forward. Don't just stay down, you get back up and you move forward. So really interesting message, but they want you divine feminines to just know that they love you, they care about you, they wanna reach out to you, they're awakening. They want you to connect with them in the 5D, they will connect with you in the 3D soon. But meanwhile, go out and be a light for the world. Don't just stay in your corner and just be really sad that they're not with you. They want you to go out and perform random acts of kindness for strangers and other people and maybe, you know, donating some money to charity, donating some money to like organizations like Food Bank, feedingamerica.org, just different causes that really mean something to you that you know that you're out there helping other people. That's the message from Divine Masculines to Divine Feminines for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for sharing this video with others. And thank you for supporting this channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can also pledge your support on Patreon www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondant and I will see you in the next video.